Hey guys, it's Eric here on Daily Mill FTM, and this week's topic is friends and family. As you might have noticed, I'm in a much, much different area than I usually am. That's because two people that I had planned on interviewing for this video fell asleep. So this is the only place that I can film without waking them up and feeling the wrath of Ares and Athena. Since I couldn't interview my sister or my mother for this video, I'm just gonna kinda talk about how I felt throughout the process. I might end up doing a video on my personal channel where I interview them, but for now, you're gonna have to deal with it. So I will start with my family and how they reacted to it. At the beginning of my transition, about the middle before, you know, pre-T, but not quite the beginning, and then how they're feeling about it now. At the very beginning, it was rough because they said that they accepted me, but when it came down to it and I said that I wanted to go by a different name <laughs> and different pronouns, stuff's rattling around and it's scary. I don't like the garage. But when, when I said that I was going to have to go by different names and pronouns and whatever, that's when things kind of turned. They were very supportive up until then, but once I said that, you know, I was going to medically transition and that I wanted to be called by a different name. They, they were really, really hesitant. They were like, why do you have to change your name? You know, we gave you this name for a reason. And my name was not at all gender neutral. So it was like, I don't have much of a choice. They, they weren't supportive after that point. They were like, well, you'll always be our little girl. You know, we will never be able to see you as our son. All that. It took quite a few visits from a therapist and doctors and whatever for them to realize that I wasn't doing this to hurt them as I think they kind of felt like I was trying to jab at them or something which I don't know why but I've heard of a lot of guys who have that problem where their parents are like why are you doing this to us I had all these therapists and they were like that's not how this works he's not doing this because of something you guys did a long time ago. This is just something that happens and you really need to be there for him because this is a very sensitive time in his life. So, all these therapists, they told my parents that they needed to be there for me and eventually, you know, my parents realized, okay, you know, we actually do need to be there for him. Around the time of my birthday is actually when everything turned around. It was kind of weird. I had been out for, I don't know, maybe like a half a year at that point. And they had like this weird epiphany where just all of a sudden everybody switched names and pronouns and it was just wonderful. Over, pretty much overnight. Medically though, they were still very uh, apprehensive, I think, because they were worried about side effects that it would have that could potentially harm me. So that required another doctor visit and talking to people online who have been on testosterone and everything. And then they realized, okay, so we need to be there for him socially and we need to let him do his thing medically. And then that's where about two months ago got that nice doctor's appointment and starting testosterone today. My parents are very supportive. I think when it comes to things like surgery, they're kind of, they, they don't really want to talk about it, but they don't want to stop me from doing it either. I, I understand that. I wouldn't want my kid to go under the knife either, but they know that I, it needs to happen for me to be as happy as I can be. If your parents aren't supportive in the beginning, with a little persistence and logic, they might come to realize that they messed up and they might try to make amends by, you know, being supportive. Um, as far as my extended family, we try to avoid talking to them about anything like this. You know, they don't, they never really talked to me pre-transition anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. I was honestly expecting to lose almost everybody in my family, because I do come from a rather religious family, but to my pleasant surprise, I have lost no one. 
Nobody has disowned me as of yet. Although I don't know how many of them know that I've started hormones. So that that might end up being the breaking straw for a couple of people. I felt it was important to tell you guys that I didn't lose anybody because this entire week I have heard everybody on the channel say that you are guaranteed to lose somebody. And I it actually upset me because you, you don't have to lose ever, anybody, you know? If you play your cards right, you can still have those same relationship with your family. I, I did it. I don't see why it has to be something. Why we have to tell everybody that you're, you're guaranteed to lose somebody. I'm sorry, but that is not true. And I will vouch for that. My family is still by my side today. It has been a year since I came out, and I still have everyone. You would think by now, somebody would have left. So, to anybody who watched the other guy's videos and got discouraged by them saying that, I am telling you right now, you do not have to lose everybody, or anybody. You do not have to restart your life and all these relationships just because you came out and started transitioning. You do not have to. And if you're nervous about how to come out to avoid losing people, then personally message me. I always leave my Tumblr and my YouTube in the comments. And if you can find me on Facebook, I'll help you there too. I, I don't care. Uh, my, my Facebook name, Eric Wagner, with a K. Just hit me up. I don't care. If you need help, I am here. And I know the other guys are there for you too. But I, I hate seeing people who get disowned from family that they used to be close with. So, bottom line, you don't have to lose anybody, and if you need help, come find me. So, I want to move on to friends real quick. Not a whole lot to say, because I don't have that many friends, but my friends were very supportive straight from the beginning, and although sometimes they crack jokes, even today, that really kind of strike a nerve, they were never- it's never on purpose. They, they were some of the first people that I came out to just to kind of test the waters, you know, before I went and told my family. They switched my name and pronouns almost immediately, although there's still a couple who are going to get punched in the face one of these days. Perhaps I'm talking about you, if you're watching this. I'm going to knock you out, but they've been there since I came out. They were there rooting for me when I was trying to find doctors and therapists when I started testosterone and all of that. Very thankful. Very thankful for the friends and family who stood by me all this time. I swear to God, I'm going to that side again. I will see you all next week. We have kind of a special week coming up. Super excited. Maybe Lucas will tell you more about that tomorrow. Otherwise, wait until next week. So, see you all next Saturday. Peace out.